Hi, I've created the interface of the main menu in Minecraft. Hello everyone, I'm Dylan Conformist and yes, you heard that well. I'm also passionate about UX for those who don't know and are new on this channel. I just discovered that I'm very passionate about game development recently and UX has been a passion for years but I haven't really tried to do a lot of stuff with it. But now, here I am combining games, game development and UX together on this YouTube channel. Stay with me on this journey because I promise it's gonna become way more interesting considering that my right hand right now is just like this. I can really move it so imagine I worked only using my left hand and yes I'm right handed so keep that in mind while watching this because it wasn't very very fast but of course I will edit it and it's gonna be very interesting, I promise. And without any more introduction, let's jump into the process. So as you can see, I opened Figma, rename everything, trying to find my inspiration on the internet. I found this background that I really like, the empty one, and I pasted it and I was like, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna create inside of this. But I still need the inspiration, right? So I was trying to find the perfect size to match the other one. So then I can just paste the buttons that I will create later on. I kept organizing stuff. And then I was trying to adjust, as I said, the size of it to make sure it's perfect. And then I started to create the buttons. This was very funny because it was a lot, even though it seems pretty simple. Well, guess what? It's not really like that. I figured out it's not gradient <laughs> and then I just filled it and made strokes and effects and all this stuff inside the button and even outside of it with the blurry background and all this stuff I was trying to see exactly if it looks like the other ones and then I thought hmm, maybe I can put it up here so it's easier actually for me to follow later on all the things that are missing or maybe not I was playing with the cards because, as I've told you, I don't have that much experience with Figma. So I was figuring out everything by myself in this video. You can name this maybe, let's say, my third project ever in Figma. Like from start, it came to an end, so that's pretty dope. So make sure to stick up with me because I promise it's gonna be very interesting. Quite similar, I would say. I called my friend ChatGPT. I took a break because of my hand and the pain, but you can see it started to look quite similar, I would say, with all the strokes and all the shadows and all the stuff. Right now it looks just great. I started to rename stuff to make sure I'm organized because at the end of the project I don't want to be like oh my god it's such a mess it's even harder for me to realize what I did so yeah this is how I work in Figma if you are a beginner you can literally follow what I did maybe use slow motion a bit for this video and try to recreate because it's very easy I would say Minecraft is not that hard So you can see me here playing with the text. Then I took a break and I began to feel very, very proud about what I did. Trying to find the font of the text, it didn't work actually. I was trying multiple times. If you guys know the solution, make sure to type it in the comments because it will help me a lot. And I was just trying to find the perfect font. You can see I was just searching and searching and then yeah, that was the best approach because I wasn't able to find any asset or anything like that. So I was just playing until I was content with what I did. Adjusting everything, make sure it's in the middle.
so many fonts out here and I was just keep searching for the perfect one. Even though you can tell there's a difference, like it's not really perfect, but I feel like we are somehow getting there. I was like, okay, maybe, let's use this one. I was constantly trying to adjust this because I felt like it's way too lighter for what I wanted and for how it looked. So I just kept adjusting it. And then I realized it's always about the strokes or about the effects. Always. Those are the perfect things for Minecraft, apparently. I was very proud of what I did. It looked very similar. You cannot really tell the difference if you look from afar. If you look very close, yeah, of course, I'm not a professionist. I'm just a beginner, but as a beginner, yes, I'm proud of what I realized and what I did. And then I was just duplicating the button and replacing the text because that was the hard part, creating one button and then just playing with it to make sure it's the perfect size for the other ones. And that's what I did. I was just keep duplicating it, dragging it, rename it. I didn't realize about the lock. If it's locked, you can't really play with it. And then, if you lock it, of course, you can't really touch it anymore. So, that's what I was playing for. You can see here all the buttons. And now I was trying to adjust the small ones, which were even easier. Just a bit more pain with the text, because I was trying to find the right size. I realized multiplayer wasn't in the middle, so that's what I did. I just kept adjusting the options and then the game. It looks so nice. It looks like a texture pack, honestly. Then I created this small button. I was trying to find a logo or something, but in the end I was just Taking a screenshot, I wasn't able to erase the background, it looked very weird, so I just took that screenshot and that was pretty much it. Then I was trying to create the text in the corners. The yellow one, the one that pops out every time you're entering Minecraft. It looks very similar and I realized, oh my god, I actually did it. Myself. Myself, like I just searched for a few stuff, it didn't even work out, so I made everything by myself and I was like, maybe the big text? No, for real. It didn't look well. I was organizing stuff again and again. Pasting everything, make sure it's exactly where it's supposed to be. And this was the final product, you can see how happy I was. So this was the video guys, thank you very very much for watching. In case you are curious about what I think about the new Minecraft movie, well make sure to check my reaction up here. Take care.